that was Diets Ramen here in Jiugaoka and I was incredibly lucky. Actually, I walked up to the shop and they were already sold out for the day. However, they saw me standing outside and they figured they have uh, enough ingredients to make one more bowl and actually called me inside. Uh, so I got a couple of extra toppings just, you know, to balance out. I think I, they had a little bit less soup than normal, but it was still really incredible. And if you know a little bit about this shop, um, about the location here, the atmosphere before uh, was a little bit tense. The master was a little bit of a tough guy, let's say, who is now apparently in prison. Um, and now it's this incredibly friendly shop that is, um, yeah, really a pleasure to go to. Um, very different from many other uh, ramen shops. And here the story is that the owner uh, who is now running the shop, he also runs Nibo Nibo Chino, by the way, a Niboshi, um, yeah, fusion Italian style shop. Um, he saw in his dream uh, a bowl of ramen that his dad, or that he made together with his dad, who has uh, unfortunately already passed away. And then waking up, he decided to make a ramen shop that actually serves this kind of bowl of ramen. And that's what he's uh, still doing today. And um, yeah, he's, uh, what he said is, it's, it's not a really fixed recipe. So he is adapting his recipe day by day, how he feels, whatever he tastes, uh, wants to eat, and whatever uh, kind of fresh ingredients he gets. So the base is always uh, some kind of niboshi. Uh, sometimes he adds some bushi, some uh, chicken or other ingredients. And so you have to really <laughs> go every day if you want to try all the varieties that are, that are there. But I can tell you the day I went, it was absolutely fantastic. You get two types of chashu, um, one wagyu, uh, one um, really, really tender, almost buttery uh, pork belly. That is, uh, yeah, both of them are really, really good flavorful uh, don't expect the wagyu to fall apart um, it's more like on the uh, firm side I would say but flavor wise absolutely fantastic the noodles feel a little bit like very al dente pasta I'm not sure if that's like kind of his signature move because of this uh, Italian fusion style ramen shop that he also has uh, at some other place in Nimo Nimo Chino um, but they they have like the very low hydration and a really nice a uh, good bite which really can stand up to the niboshi soup and overall it all really fits well together and it's a super friendly shop as I mentioned and uh, I had a chat with the guy he said he opens at I think 11 or 11 30 and they usually run out by 2 p.m. and then they're closing up so if you want to check out the shop come here um, best be yeah around uh, 11 to 1 uh, just to be sure so uh, you're not standing uh, in front of a clothes shop like I almost had. And yeah, that's all for me for today. Check out the Ramen in Japan podcast if you want to yeah, hear me talk with some ramen nerds uh, about ramen in Japan. And uh, that's all for me for today. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.